how do you go from being a football player at a national uh, level to getting into the cannabis industry? Well, uh, the most important thing in life is that you are where you are. And what you realize is that uh, everything that happened in your life before this moment is just information, it's data. And everything that hadn't happened yet is also just information, both of which only live in your head. They don't live in reality. And so we all have our own journey and you have to pay attention to the reality that's right in front of you. And the only things you can control in life are yourself and the moment you're in. And so you just have to pay really close attention to the reality of the moment that is being provided to you. My journey as a football player um, it was an interesting one. Uh, from the age of birth until 18, everything told me I was uh, number one, going to be number one in everything. And then at 18 years old, I went to the University of Texas. And um, from that point uh, through the next five years, I was number two. I backed up uh, Chris Sims and then Vince Young at the University of Texas. And so became uh, well uh, familiar with the servant role. Uh, and uh, that's what I was called to do. And that's not um, something that's easy, I guess, after 18 years of being taught that you were going to be number one. And, uh, but that's uh, exactly how life is. You're just supposed to pay attention to what's in front of you and make uh, the best out of it and make a choice with how you feel about it and how you respond to things. And so uh, after that, I, I ended up being in the NFL, of which I was also not number one uh, for a number of years. And so, um, you know, uh, after some period of time of doing that, I went into business and ended up working for some very large family offices for which I was also not number one. And so the interesting thing about life is that uh, the first half of my life, uh, it looked like I was going to be number one. And then for the next half of my life, I was basically number two or three. Uh, experience and God uh, was teaching me something. And so um, through the first 18 years and the next 18 years, that was the case. And then all of a sudden I was called to then lead again. Um, and that was uh, after many years of being in the family office and doing investments and uh, serving in that capacity, I was called to start Arcadian. And uh, the interesting thing is I think God was teaching me how to be a servant leader uh, during those times. And then when you get thrust into the spotlight again and you have the opportunity to lead uh, an industry or a group of people, uh, the nice thing is that you've been taught how to do it in the servant role. And so for the last, um, you know, five, six, seven, eight years, uh, as we've been building Arcadian, I've remembered that and it served us well.